Here we go. Oh, upper! Yep, yep. Oh, up close and personal. Oh, yeah, I love that. Oh, hey, hey! Yo! Sure. My boy, he's in. Real quick before this episode of Avatar here, if you guys are enjoying these videos, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. And consider checking out the Patreon. It's currently the best way to support the channel. I've got early access videos available for Avatar and Hunter x Hunter. If that's something you're interested in, the link will be in the description below. With all that being said, enjoy the video. Something that makes me really sad about these uh, Avatar episodes especially is I almost always find myself having to cut out uh, a lot of extra footage once I get done with the episode to abide by copyright. And there's so many little scenes that are just funny, even just like little Momo things that I have to cut out that I get really sad about. I, I think this show and Hunter x Hunter where I'm at with that right now as well would be really good shows to do full length reactions for over on Patreon. And if that's something people are interested in, I, I would love to give that a go because a lot of these uh, episodes right now, like I, I really have a lot to say like during the episode as well that and a lot of it unfortunately does get cut out okay fire nation stuff okay. you must defeat the fire, lord. fire lord ozai stuff maybe which i know almost nothing about i just know his name the deserter okay talk to me then i see a i see a dragon a fire dragon oh yeah here we go it, it, it would though you might want to rethink that look at this oh wanted poster yeah you already knew a wanted poster. Is that, um, was that, let me go back. Was that Zuko in the, the blue spirit? Yeah, look at that. That's hilarious. You want to walk into a Fire Nation town when they're all fired up? Uh, you got to disguise him. Fire? We'll wear disguises. <laughs> and there you go. Yeah, because we always leave before we get into trouble. <laughs> Some self-awareness from soccer. Okay, who's this guy then? That didn't go unnoticed. You guys stay out of sight here while we go to the festival. <laughs> Don't hide behind the- I love it. I'm not cutting that out. <laughs> I knew Aang was gonna be something silly. Like you're a whole different person. <laughs> Let's go. There's no way they're letting him go in like that. Oh god. Okay, who's this guy? Kinda looks like Jet, I'm not gonna lie. Are these all Fire Nation people? They are behind enemy lines right now. <laughs> so fitting. So fitting. Hey, there's some food. Finally. What do you have? It's all gonna be spicy, man. It's all gonna be hot. I'll take mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, you already knew. I can't handle. Hot. Oh, we doing magic with it though? Put you put your mask back on, Aang. For my next trick, I need a volunteer. Oh, you already know where this is going. You gotta blend in, Aang. How about you, little lady? Uh... Oh, she's shy. Oh, God. Well, better Katara than Aang and probably even Sokka, to be honest. Okay, Wh who is this? Okay, what are we doing here? I will tame this fiery <laughs> Okay, that, okay, that was kind of dope. He's got a little whip, a little leash. It's a trick, my guy. He is bending this. He's in control. Please don't airbend. Oh no. But they're all gonna love this though. You trying to upstage me, kid? Oh, they didn't like it. Oh god, look at him. The, uh, yeah, he doesn't have his freaking mask on. He just airbended. God, uh, honestly. I think it's time to go. Follow me. I can get you out of here. He's a homie. He's a homie. He got he got the whistle. He still got it. Oh, oh, don't. Go on. Go on. Abba. Let's go. Oh yeah. Get him out of here. Nice. Nice. And that's a good way to disguise their getaway as well. Nice touch setting off the fireworks. You seem to really know your explosives. I'm familiar. You're a Fire Nation soldier. Hmm. Was. My name's Che. The Deserter. Che, okay. I serve a man, Jong Jong the Deserter. 
Oh, Fire Nation General. Zhang Zhang, the deserter. He's the first person ever to leave the army and live. Okay, I see. Second, Zhang Zhang's a firebending genius. Some say he's mad, but he's not. You mean there's a firebender out here who's not with the Fire Lord? Is this what we're doing? Is he alive? He's the perfect person to train the Avatar. That's why I followed you into the festival. I have definitely not- I imagine the third book is, um, fire, right? Like, this book is water. I imagine the next one's earth. I've definitely never seen anything from that third series in involving Aang learning firebending or who he learns it from. So it could be this Jong Jong person. I just know that I'm pretty sure Toph is the one that teaches him earthbending and Toph is blind and all that and she's really funny. And that's, I, I imagine, all throughout season two. This could be some interesting stuff. Like, I really had no idea idea in my head how Aang was going to learn firebending. Talking about this now, I'm like, imagine if it's Zuko somehow that teaches him firebending eventually. That's something I haven't thought about and that's really exciting. But we'll see where this goes here. It can't hurt just to talk to him. That's what you said about going to the festival. Sokka's right though. Now he's valid for this. So the Avatar was here. You know, Xiao's involved. Here we go. You let him slip away, Xiao. You've done that. Which way did they go? They headed into the forest. Up the river, I see. Okay, here we go. Ready the river boats. I think Jong Jong is going to be in some trouble here. Can I see Jong Jong now? He won't see you. He wants you to leave immediately. Yeah, it probably puts him in danger. He says you're not ready. He oh, set up. Water bending and earth bending. Yeah, it has to happen in an order. That's right. He saw the way you walked into camp. He can tell. I like this. I like this. Anyway. No, Aang. But I want to see him, though. I do want to see him. Master, I need to learn fire bending. Yeah, but you have to do it later. Six is old. Ooh. I'm the Avatar. It's my destiny to- Destiny? What would a boy know of destiny? Hmm. If a fish lives its whole life in this river, does he know the river's destiny? No, he cannot imagine- It's a good analogy though. The big picture. But it's the Avatar's duty to master all of the bending disciplines. In order master though. the bending disciplines. You must first master discipline itself. Ooh, I like that. Now, get out. Please, I have to learn. This could be my only chance. Are you deaf? How can I teach you if you refuse to listen? You must learn. Yeah, he, he's telling him I'll uh, I'll do it when it's all. Yeah, okay, okay. Steady and stable, but fire. Destruction. Fire is alive. Yeah, okay. He said he's gonna do it, but when Aang's ready. Fire will spread and destroy everything in its path if one does not have the will to control it. That is its destiny. It's very important lessons though. He's very aggressive though. Ooh. You think I am weak? Oh! Roku. No, no, I did not mean that. You will teach the Avatar. And he recognized Roku instantly. I will teach you. Really? That's great. That's interesting. But I feel like Zhang Zhang is probably going to be right. And we're in a very uh, dense forest here, it seems. But maybe just the basics would be good. Talking is not concentrating. Look at your friend. Is she talking? Even that oaf knows to concentrate on. <laughs> When do I get to make some fire? Oh, Ang, come on, man. <laughs> oh, come on. As if they're laughing at him. Oh, poor Ang. Power in fire bending comes from the breath. Yeah, the that breath. Why you must master proper breath control. How's your attention span, Ang? What are you doing here? I did not tell you to stop. I've been breathing for hours. You want to stop breathing? <laughs> I want you to stop wasting my time. I want to know how to shoot fire out of my fingertips. You can understand the sense of urgency from Aang because we are on a timer here. We only have so long until the comet comes back. And again, I'm really trying to remember how young Aang is. Like he's 12, right? There's still a lot of patience to be learned from Aang, I think. Even though we don't have a lot of time, it's hard to be patient when there's not a lot of time. I get it, but still. I had a pupil who had no interest in learning discipline. He was only concerned with the power of fire. Its nature is- Oh, it's Zhao. It's gotta be Zhao. Well, this is what I was saying about being in a forest and we're trying to learn fire bending. It's all just gonna burn down. There we go, Aang. There we go. I thought about what you said. I promise I'll be more patient. My bad for saying anything. There we go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But he's still himself. Still got some of that gyatso in him. Concentrate on the fire. I want you to keep this flame from reaching the edges of the leaf for as long as you can. I'm sure there's a good reason. But I'm ready to do so much more. Oh. I, I need fire. He's doing a bit much. You should take it slow. 
Oh no, yeah, yep, yeah, you already know, something bad's gonna happen. Oh god. He's making me very nervous. He's gonna burn Katara! Oh no! That that's that's the worst thing that could have happened. Did Jesus? <sighs> that must feel horrible for Aang. This is all your fault. I know. Now pack your things. You must leave. Yeah, it's time to go. It's time to go. Zhao's here. I'm sorry. You gotta listen, though, Aang. You do have to listen. It's a painful way to learn a lesson, burning Katara. But the way he was acting, it was gonna happen. Jeez, look at that. Maybe she can do like some sort of water bending thing. Ain't no way that healed her hands. Is this just can every water bender do this? No. The great benders of the water tribe sometimes have this ability. That's freaking dope. I I were blessed like you. Oh, with the power to heal. Not to destroy with fire bending. Water brings healing and life. I get it, I get it. But fire brings only destruction and pain. Here we go, Zhao is here. Oh, that was sick. I have a bad feeling about this for Zhong Zhong. Oh yeah, here we go. Talk to me. This is a master. Oh yeah. On the water, by the way. Don't worry, man. My old teacher gave up yep, there it is. Time ago. Oh. Master Zhang Zhang. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Zhang Zhang tried to tell me that I wasn't ready. I wouldn't listen. I'm never gonna firebend again. Oh. He'll have to eventually. No, never again. He hurt Katara. He cares about Katara. Zhao and his soldiers are attacking. Where? By the river. And he's gonna help. Zhang Zhang. I have to help him. Yep. You were once so great. I can't believe my former master has become nothing more than a simple savage. He's just doing what he feels is right. Do not try to fight him. You are no match. You reckon? I think I can handle a child. I don't know at this point. Never seen such raw power. Hmm. Hmm. Might be a shot at Zhao there. He gonna disappear. He's run off into the woods. Right, Ang. Ang versus Zhao. I want to see this. Come on now. Oh yeah. Yeah, Zhao doesn't care if he burns this forest or not. No self -control. Stand and fight. He's gonna make him burn his ships. Oh, were we fighting? I thought you were just getting warmed up. I won. <laughs> Is that all you got? Man, they'll make anyone an admiral these days. Ang's playing him quite he's playing him well here. Ahoy! I'm Admiral Zhao! <laughs> this is what we doing. Ooh, that's gonna get to him. Sloppy. Very sloppy. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You lost this battle. All these ships are on fire. You haven't thrown a single blow. No, but you have. L not even paying attention to what he's doing. Here it is. Uh oh. Okay, I thought he was gonna do something crazy just then. And we beat Zhao without even fighting him. That's very in Aang's character a little bit. Where Only fights when he absolutely has to. He disappeared. They all did. Are we leaving or what? I want to see Zhang Zhang again, if that is the case. Aang, you're burned. She can heal him. That's, that's so cool. Yo. That's so handy. Oh, that's good water. <laughs> he said that's good water. Oh, well then thanks for all the first aid. <laughs> and that time I had two fish hooks in my Come on, Sokka. Two? He tried to get the first fish hook out with another fish hook. Oh, Sokka, never change. Okay, I, I reckon we'll see Jong Jong again, and he might actually teach Aang fire bending in maybe the third season. I like that.
Now at this point, we know I love me some setup for future episodes. Jong Jong, definitely someone we are going to see again. And I would love it if he is the one that eventually teaches Aang firebending. And I'll touch on that point that I came up with uh, during one of my mini discussions in the episode that imagine somehow Zuko becomes one of the ones that helps teach Aang firebending. You know, the, the parallels between these characters are, are so deep. And I've talked about it a little bit more with people in the comments of the videos than I have in the videos. But the parallel between Aang and Zuko just runs like so deep and there'll be a better episode I, I think to talk more in depth about that episode 12 I, I think uh, would have been the, the the one or maybe 13 as well to really delve into the parallels between Aang and Zuko but I'm sure there'll be more episodes but I think that'll be really great you know Aang already put the idea out there of uh, imagine if things were different maybe him and Zuko could be friends so maybe eventually uh, like I've said before I don't think the Fire Lord Ozai intends to let Zuko back into the Fire Nation uh, no matter what so I'm starting to see more of a clear image of Zuko is somehow coming to the other side and Maybe not necessarily teaming up with Aang, but being on the side of let's defeat the Fire Lord. We'll, we'll, we'll see. That, that, that could be very far-fetched at this point, but it does make a little bit of sense. And Katara can heal. Like, she's not just a waterbender. She has this unique trait that not a lot of uh, waterbenders get. And, and Jong Jong was very uh, appraisive of it, I guess, saying, like, that's pretty dope that, that you have this power. But Jong Jong is a really interesting character, and, and I really understand him. You know, he feels like he's cursed with fine bending. you know, the, the power to destroy. Maybe part of the reason he left, I'm not sure if he actually mentioned the specific specifically or not is because you know Zhao was one of his pupils and Zhao was only interested in just being you know really strong and powerful and you could see that in his fight uh, it wasn't really much of a fight was it and Aang was able to take advantage of that in a very passive way uh, very true to Aang he said a few times like I'll only fight if I have to but Zhao was just trying to get Aang uh, he's already lost Aang once he, I guess he didn't want to do it again but he had no idea that he was like you know setting his own ships on fire but we might even see another interaction between Zhao and Zhong Zhong in the future as well I love that we got to see like a little bit of where Zhao came from like he was taught by Jong Jong and then Jong Jong just hated that and then Jong Jong's like exiled himself he said I don't want to be a part of the Fire Nation given everything that's going on and I think we might even get Zuko coming to that same conclusion at some point too but I really didn't expect Aang to learn anything about firebending in this season that that's for sure I don't even think he's learned any basics of earthbending I know we've been around earthbending a lot oh he, he was uh, with Boomy but, but Boomy definitely did not uh, teach him anything about earthbending he was just doing a lot of bending but he's got the basics of water bending and now fire bending as well and maybe it's when uh, whenever Toph comes into the picture is when we'll start to get the basics of earth bending down but we're actually moving along and like I said during the episode you can understand Aang's urgency you know to, to master all the bendings and he's still very young but he did learn very quickly as well that he does need to be patient in some instances so this might be one of his more valuable lessons that he's learned so far from Jong Jong but I'm gonna leave this one there another good episode again still moving towards the North Pole but we got some really good stuff here we got our first like instance of Aang like actually learning fire bending and some pretty cool new characters as well so thank you all so much for watching if you enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more and as always please continue to leave your comments and feedback down below you know i always appreciate it and we'll see you all in the next episode of avatar